I'm with Violet Gergich from Gergich Hills Winery in Yonville, old friend of mine, and we're here to talk a little bit about sustainable agriculture, something I know that's near and dear to your heart. You want to tell me a little bit, what is sustainable agriculture? Well, sustainable agriculture is basically feeding the soil and feeding the plant with everything that comes from it. So everything that goes into the land comes back and goes into it. So we are actually call this biodynamics. And it not only is a method of using compost, using natural cover crops, uh, but also making sure that the vine itself is as healthy as possible. So when the vine itself is naturally healthy, it not only withstands diseases, but it produces grapes that are very rich in flavor, very concentrated, and very much of that particular soil and area. Isn't there risk involved in that? Because mm -hmm. if it's a very hot summer or it rains late of mildew or mold or problems in the vineyards that mm -hmm. chemicals would normally help mm -hmm. you with? Actually, chemicals make things worse. When you use chemicals, they weaken the vine, and the, wine, the vine then becomes much more susceptible to both pests and mildew and diseases. But if your grapes are naturally, and vines are naturally healthy, then they actually don't get mildew as much. Uh -huh. They don't get uh, affected by pests. So we're seeing our neighbors who use conventional farming have much more mold and mildew than we do and we seem to be doing quite Are well. Are you able to get your neighbors involved in this and maybe get your neighbors to move over to become more sustainable also? That would be nice in the future, but I think for Fine. the most part, vendors do tend to work a lot together, yeah. but I think when you're used to doing things a certain way, you really have to see the evidence. I understand. Which is what we've seen. And yeah. tell me about this uh, Cabernet we're going to taste now. It's the 2002? 2002, 2002 Yontville Selection Cabernet. This comes from the very first patch of land that we actually started using biodynamic farming on. And how long and have you been doing that? We've been doing that since 2002. And this particular um, section is planted in 1959 and was planted on a rootstock that withstood phylloxera. So the vines are very old and produce a small crop, but it's very rich and very concentrated. This wine is made in a style that we're very well known for, which is one of balance and elegance and food friendliness. Uh, the wines aren't as huge as maybe many other Cabernets, uh, but we want them to be smooth and drinkable and yet have that firm and subtle right. structure that will enable them to So you get good fruit time. in those, but it's not overpowering. No. And this wine, once opened, will actually continue to expand and grow and become more and more complex, both in flavor and in aroma, over the course of the evening. It's rich. It's, I'm getting some sweet fruit. Mm. A lot of acidity, yes. but it's not overpowering. No. Acidity is very important to all of our wines because for wine to go with food, if it doesn't have enough acid, the wine quickly becomes very flat and not very interesting. That's also part of the balance you get. When you have enough exactly. fruit and you've got good mm. acidity in the finish, mm. it makes it, it taste better and also last longer. It does. Anything else you want to tell me about your dad? How's he doing? Oh, my dad's doing great. He's 83. Came over from Croatia back in 1958 and uh, started at the very bottom and uh, actually was the winemaker who won the Paris tasting. He made the Montalena Chardonnay that won in 76. And, and one of my favorite Chardonnays now is Gerga Chill's oh, Chardonnay. Well, thank you. Thank you. But he's doing wonderfully. Right. And thanks so, for coming to New Jersey. Thanks so much, us. Gary. Cheers. Always a pleasure. Jivili, as we say in Croatian. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.